the gate looking thing. Uh, I think that's the gate. It's where an alien spawns called the gatekeeper. I, there's gotta be better lore than that, right? But <laughs> it eludes me at this time, unfortunately. Why does YouTube Jorbs frown upon XCOM VODs? Uh, I think I'm gonna put it up on X on YouTube probably. But generally, the reason that the stuff that goes up on YouTube goes up on YouTube is that it goes up on YouTube, and the stuff that doesn't go up on YouTube doesn't go up on YouTube because it doesn't go up on YouTube. It's generally how it works. All right. Got 11 hours on this. Nothing's happening between now and 11 hours from now that I can see. So... Actually, I had the team entirely loaded out, didn't I? Did I? Let me go check. For the Arctic. We can always jump over to the black market real quick if we need to grab more supplies. It seems like I would have spent all of my money if I had the team equipped. I sort of doubt that that's actually true. Unhindered operations. Mission is quick response, fixed evac, sweep objective, revealed start. This is the same sort of retaliation as we did last time. Cannon, laser cannon. Probably only want one gunner. They're a little bit slow. Bring my ranger now that I have coil weapons. One, two, three, four, five, six. A specialist or two. These can both use coil rifles. I'm going to build so many coil rifles this campaign. All right, do we need one, two, three, four, One, two, three, four. We need four coil guns. I think I'll go subcoiler for my technical. Other than that, I need rifles. I have 181, and I need... The subcoiler costs more than the coil rifle? Wait. Wait. It w it Excuse me? I have mag rifles and laser rifles. No, we want the good stuff. We want the good stuff. How much armor do I have? What determines how many can infiltrate? Uh, for these quick response missions, you get to take eight. Depends on the mission type a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. I've got three armors for five soldiers, it looks like. I have seven soldiers on... Yeah, that makes sense. So grabbing two more armor would be nice. Two more exosuits? I have enough money. Full build exos. Everybody gets an exo. Let's head to the black market. Avenger plotting new I should course. have some stuff to sell. Hey, Dark Knight of the Rainbow. Market is open. The black market wants our stocks. You can have them. You can have some of these. You can have a couple of these. You can have some of these Illyrium cores. Don't need all of those. Course for Sector 1, the Arctic. I'm pretty sure Thumbnail Jorbs is just a body double. I don't think Thumbnail Jorbs is a Jorbs Jorbs. But then I'm not sure there would be any way for me to know for sure, would there? So 
So these missions are really spooky. These retaliation missions. Last time we fought against an Archon and a Berserker. And that's the only Archon we've seen in the entire campaign. And one of two Berserkers we've seen in the entire campaign. So like, we want to be prepared for some tough enemies here. Was a guy with three coil assault rifles? Is that right? What's going on here? Did I click on different soldiers this time? Assault rifle? No, no, these ones. So a technical, yeah. One, two, three, one of these. This is a huge amount of coil to build. We have a pretty strong economy this campaign, so we can get away with it. Also a huge amount of exosuits to build. But again, we're like able to do it, so let's do it. Hacking PCS, I do. We're going to presumably not have enough stuff to actually equip these. A hair trigger, expanded mag. I have 10 suppressors. I do not need to have 10 suppressors. <laughs> okay, so that's something we could maybe think about selling. Advanced scope, an auto loader, and sure, another magazine. No hair triggers, right? Go advanced scope, mag auto loader. Here, the big thing with a submachine gun is it doesn't have much ammo. So let's go advanced auto loader and expanded mag. Grab a tier one scope, that seems to be what I have left. I wouldn't hate AP rounds on you. Team's loaded out. We're set to kill. Um, secondaries, this should be tier two gremlin. That's already a tier two gauntlet. This should be a tier two gauntlet. Tier 2 Gremlin as well. Build another Skulljack. Alright. a resistance outpost in this region and they're not taking any prisoners these people need our help and we're heading in to make sure the aliens regret coming after the resistance why do some of the soldiers Socialize only have four health in the area and secure the camp because they didn't watch enough jorbs.tv they spent all of their time doing other things when they should have been watching jorbs and now they only have four health A seal. Menace one five. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. 
Yeah, we're gonna probably need some other soldiers too. Thank you. All right. So did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Moving to designated position. Uh huh. Football. Right in a map corner. Heading to that location. Hey, you brass. Thanks for the twenty months. Ten four. I'm going to shoot you too. Oh, it's me. I'm on the move. <laughs> Heading there now. Stepping off. Wonder if the squad's just strong enough to uh moving to designated court. Walk into the enemy pod here actually. I'm giving them a turn to shoot stuff. It's not necessarily the right thing to be doing. Okay. Whoa. What does that have in its butt? That's sort of weird. Civilians who are faceless be on these missions and get killed. That's actually a thing, isn't it? Hmm. So there are a lot of mutons on this map. We got all the mutons that we already pulled, plus all the mutons that we're about to pull. Probably want to try to deal with this pod without pulling that pod and let them walk into overwatches. Where's the ranger? Oh shit. Look at that. <laughs> Do I need to turn it down? I mean it's like getting pretty spicy in here is all I'm saying. Okay. Pretty low damage rolls. We'll take a 100% crit chance. That seems pretty good. I like how the soldier in the front ducks out of the way. Yep, this game is very big on firearm safety. That's probably one of the main takeaways that you get playing it. I am tactically tumbling. You have a tier 2 gauntlet, which means this sets fire to the enemy most aliens? of the time. Nice. I think it's 60% chance once you get a tier 2 gauntlet. On 
Okay, so we set this overwatch trap and we get to just sort of hope that our soldiers don't get killed. Because uh, they're not standing in cover and I didn't like bring a smoke grenade. Honestly, I don't think I remembered to bring a smoke grenade to the campaign as a whole, so. Yeah, but we got some overwatches. That's what it's gonna sound like when I die. I'm gonna be like 80 years old in bed, surrounded by people who love me. I'll have been like mostly silent for the last like three days. All you'll hear is like the rattle of my lungs. Oh no. I might need some help. Wow, she's on one HP now. <laughs> and and then I'll just go. And die. That's how I'm going out. It's been decided. It's no longer. No longer up for debate. One outstanding shot. Four percent ain't too bad. I think I got a piece. <laughs> a perverse incentive or something, the Gotti Knight. Same doable. Imagine spending your entire life working out what the best possible last words would be, and then you're like about to die and you say them, but then you don't die. And then I imagine it's just like really awkward because probably a bunch of people are around like, you know, and all very emotional and they want to talk to you and stuff and say goodbye and you're just like, you already said it. So what did... Yeah. Feels like it would be rough. Confirmed. Do these sniper and machine coils sound as satisfying? Close quarters. Pretty sure that the sniper rifle is absolutely ridiculous. I don't remember what the Gatling gun is like, but I okay. imagine it's pretty silly too. F loot? My soldier has one HP. Let's uh. Let's chill out on the loot stuff right now. Maybe next mission, yeah. Orders confirmed, moving out. I can always get more soldiers. Wow. That's pretty cutthroat. Let's do this. Adjusting sights. Moving on target location. Okay. Seems like a good attack. On Once you get coil now. guns, shredder ammo shreds two armor instead of one Fire armor. Overwatch. I'm pretty sure. Unless it's three. It might be three. Oh dear. Didn't think I'd go out like this. We're seeing heavy civilian casualties, Commander. We have to stop this. Fire spreading! <laughs> I guess there's the other one, like, you think you're about to shuffle off, and so you, like, 
I don't know, tell that one relative that you never really liked to go fuck okay. themselves, and then, like, the doctors come in and tell you hey, that man, actually you're fine and you've got another, like, five years to live. Running. I don't like where this is going. Sounds win-win to you. Hey, yeah, maybe. Smell. No problem, boss. We got two more pods left on the map. We see both of them. Closing on target position now. There's our one HP soldier uh, right here. I'm gonna hang out toward the back of the team for the Overwatch. rest of the mission, I think. Overwatch. Headed there now. Let's do this on Overwatch. On the move. I'm all over it. Huh. I haven't played Civ 6 in the last few days. I just, like, completely stopped being interested in that game. It's like a switch flicked in my head. Went from right wanting to play it every waking moment to having no desire to play it at all. I feel like we're missing a lot with these guns. I think the overwatches keep on going off while the enemies are in heavy cover relative to our soldier, though. Not even close. Target still up. Hmm. I don't know. Feels like we're missing a lot. need even bigger guns? Is it the size of the gun that's the problem? Hey. Ugh. So, like, they dealt as much damage to me as I did to them after my perfectly set up Overwatch trap. That seems like a legend difficulty. Long War 2, I guess. I guess that is the game I signed up for. Oh, I killed the drone at least, right? Wait, the drone... Hmm. I could have, like, taken control of the drone. This will hit, like, something well. Not sure which thing. That one? Sure, I'll take it. Same logic here. Oh no, Rootful, please not again. Not the right moment for that. Okay, I'm gonna make some really bad decisions here. It's justified though. We get some amount of intel from it, maybe. Wait, if I skull mine with the specialist with one HP and fail the hack. The specialist can actually just die. Is this what we're looking for? Oh, well that didn't quite do what I wanted. I'm sorry, why do I have a move again? 
that how it's meant to work. Hmm. He's keeping score. Maybe it's how it's meant to work. You know what? This ability is actually still relevant. again use the uh other gun this time maybe yeah that's fine good riddance men is one five status confirmed we're not picking up any additional contacts the ao is clear it's phoenix status point confirmed. okay yet i don't know i don't know Game released with some very suspect stuff going on. Hey, Gecko. You just started your first ever Long War II campaign, and the first mission you played was a rendezvous. It happens. Very rarely. But yeah, it can happen. I enjoyed the first, like two hours of the Phoenix Point campaign, and then the gargantuan problems with the game mechanics started to be very, very relevant, evident, unavoidable. I can't the aliens are too happy about this one, Commander. Hell of a job. Rapid fire rupture kill zone. We're starting to get into the part of the gunner perk tree where all of the abilities are so broken that it's unclear which one is right. 79 aim, maybe just kills him. If you can't consistently hit with your rupture, it seems like it's way worse. And rapid fire gives an extra minus 15 aim on all the shots. Let's do this one. How did the soldiers level so fast? Uh, just go on lots of missions. Got an elite scope. Seems sort of unfair. Okay, so we saved the haven. Let's make sure it still has 13 rebels working in it. Yeah, so we just lost three intel rebels, so we had three rebels on hiding, and we can switch them to intel. Also, I should check. The rebels who have leveled up give slightly more output, so if I had leveled up rebels hiding here, I'd want to switch them over. Same thing here. Yeah, so I'll make you hiding, you hiding, and put you two on supply. I think it's a small increase in output. Like, not a large amount, but a relevant amount. All the sharpshooters can have elite scopes now. I'm not even sure that it's best on sharpshooters right now. The sharpshooters are hitting 100% of the time, aren't they? Maybe not always. Okay, so at the moment, I don't think I have a mission to play. I had 10 supplies I could get alloy plating. Hmm, I don't know. It's a lot of supplies. Avenger plotting new course. Well, we had liberated two regions after the last tower. The tower doesn't liberate the region. It just, um, it does give you a radio tower in the region. 
and it unveils the alien base, which is what you have to kill to actually for real liberate the region. So we have to kill this mission to get New Arctic. We've already done that in West Asia. At that point, we would have two. I should go to recruit here with this new rebel that I didn't realize I had. But because I got the network tower there, this region is down to 200 in Delta contact, where it was 300 before. So that's probably the next big thing, because we do want to work our way over to New Chile for this objective. It's like still a wee way out, but at some point we'll want to get there. You can actually run Havens on... Oof. You can run Havens on Intel, like even liberated Havens, just for the passive Intel. Sometimes in the mid and especially late game, the supply actually doesn't matter that much, and you just get a little bit of Intel every few days from Havens, which are on Intel. You get this version of Intel. So there's this version of Intel, which is used for like contacting regions and boosting missions. And then there's a different version of Intel, which is used for detecting missions. And so usually when you're playing a Haven on Intel, you care a lot about detecting the missions, but also this Intel that contacts regions for you does have value. That's something to think about. Given that we just built everybody coil guns and already have a fully upgraded lab, like do we really need two havens that are liberated with 13 supply rebels? I don't know. We may not really need that. Okay. So anyway, to the proving ground. Commander, we might have to do some cleaning, but we've still got room to grow here. We should consider building some new facilities. And good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon grab as the those. project is ready for deployment. New facilities, is there anything worth building though? like a huge amount. A lot of monthly supply. About half of it is getting eaten by Faceless in West Asia. We still haven't gotten a rendezvous. That's our first haven and we have not managed to get a rendezvous in it for the entire game. Alright. Nothing to do except scan until this HQ assault launches, or we find another mission. Well, the next area of armor to build? Yeah, but that's like quite a long way away, I think. I think it's gonna be a while before we have that. This is a nine day mission exploration. So even though this is a high strength region, that's a pretty attemptable mission. And we just bought, bought, bought? I'm not sure which vowel sounds those were. We just bought um, large scale squad infiltration, which means I should be able to bring six to this, I think. Take a look how it feels. So it's 414 for four soldiers. 518 for five soldiers. Usually the six soldier is like a lot more, but now it only takes us up to 613. What does the seventh soldier do? That's probably a bit much, but we could send six soldiers, I think. The problem with sending six soldiers is you send six soldiers, so you don't have six soldiers around for like running other missions. It's going to make it hard to send a third squad out when we're infiltrating seven to the HQ and six to this mission. The reward for this mission isn't very relevant. I don't care very much about a Sergeant Shinobi at this point in the campaign, so there are reasons to be less excited about this for sure. Oh well. Sky Ranger deploy. Squad green to deploy. How satisfying is the decision making? I like it. I spent six months on the like balance and QA team for this game. So it's generally a game that I enjoy playing. On account of me having had a good amount of input into what it was like. 
We got a quick study corporal sharpshooter. Aim doesn't do that much. And sharpshooters. Sapper doesn't do that much. I think I'm gonna grab Sapper though, just so I see what my tier three offensive AWC ability is. And then if it's bad, I like probably don't train it right. Well, yeah. Um, I might just like give up on the soldier if it's bad. I don't know. None of the available perks to train next are that great there, so I was hoping with the quick study to unlock a really good tier two offensive perk, and then it's like, oh yeah, cool. But it didn't happen yet. Sapper Sniper. Good's bad, we throw it in a haven. Sure can. One thing we can do. Evac resistance recruiters. Did strength go up in that region? I fucked up. Recruit. Many retails are pretty bad. I think we're strong enough to play one. Gotta decide how, though. I'm gonna have to either play one of these missions before that or evac from one of the missions. Abort this mission. Probably. Three days to advanced coil. It's really awkward that I'm gonna like show up at the base assault with laser weapons after finishing advanced coil, like right before I launched the mission. I probably want to boost this. Hmm. Well, let's get alloy plating. Commander, the aliens are still moving forward on the Avatar. Okay. It's a little bit concerning. Taking facility would deal a serious blow to their efforts. Why did this just pause? That means somebody got recruited or something just at 100% usually. I don't know why I'd hit pause. We had a seven day, four hour smash and grab. Is that a better mission than the one I'm infiltrating right now? This region's up to strength five. That region's up to strength six. Huh. Sort of don't have usable havens right now. Wow. Oh wait. Um, the way I'm going to do this is we're going to abort this Sky Ranger and send the team Seven over to the board. recruit mini retail. It's because my havens are too close to the havens that I've liberated. Setting course for Sector 9, Western United States. Haunted Mac is back. So the only thing... Ooh. 
Is this squatty assault good here? I'm leading this mission with a trial by fire off. I think I bring a squatty assault. Quest missions basically spawn as far away as they can. Basically how that works. I'm excited just to level up another assault. Yeah, I would really love to have three. Functioning assaults for later on in the campaign. Also, I have two shotguns, and one of my assaults is wounded, so... It's a way to get another decent gun on the mission. Although, honestly, it's a laser shotgun. How good is it at this point in the campaign? Maybe not that great. Specialist Ranger, Gunner, Sharpshooter, Technical, Shinobi, Technical, Sharpshooter... I have a fancy piece of bleeding. I believe I could build lots of those if I wanted. Alloy plates, trooper corpses, and alloy. We may need more trooper corpses. But yeah, let's start equipping those to soldiers who are likely to take wounds. Like Jorbs. Sharp is like the favored child. It's all of the good equipment. painting Warhammer models. There was a summer of my life that I spent where my free time I just sat down with like music on or a documentary or something just painted and it was so lovely. Looks like they called in some friends. So, on a recruit mini retail. We start without concealment. And we start with reinforcements That's landing awesome. on our heads. And with active enemies on the map. Well, they're not active, but they are sort of active. Also, we just found them all. I'm pretty sure it's just two pods. Gosh, if it was three pods, that would be sort of insane. Anyway, um, and then we get to try to escort the rebels to there, which is likely to result in us dying. So it's a great time. Finally. There's another pod by the building. Hmm, that's unlucky. Oh. <laughs> Not super okay with that happening. Maybe it's alright. It's actually a pretty tame scamper.
It's all three? Nice. I mean, there are four of them, but... <laughs> Take what we can get right now. Two of those are just troopers. My general advice about recruit mini retails is uh, don't let them spawn in your campaign because they're incredibly difficult. Moving out. In case you're wondering what my general advice for playing these would be. Loot them. I don't want any of my rebels to die here. This is a haven that I'm trying to get up and running for missions. Every plasma weapon has a unique effect attached to it. I forgot what they are. It's hard to get plasma weapons. see that. Wait, there was another snake there the entire time? <laughs> what is this nonsense? Do human rights apply to aliens? Probably not. About the part where he got set on fire making that move. Got it, move it. Roger that. All right, let's start dashing out of here. I'm beating a grenade. Can that throw grenades? Oh, it does have a grenade. Uh oh. No, I was not intentionally looking for a grenade. Probably sucks. Hi. <laughs> uh, hi. Hello. Oh my god. 
This is with rapid reinforcements and uh, faceless on maps. I don't think rapid reinforcements applies to this mission though, right? That would be insane. There's no way it would. Is there? No. Hmm. Well, I did successfully get grenaded. Both of those soldiers have formidable. Nobody makes me blood. Not a problem if you ignore it. Turn based. Sort of. Okay, Absolutely. this is bad. Nothing could go wrong here. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely nothing could go wrong here. All right, so that assault is maybe not going to make it to I'm high leaving. level uh, particularly quickly in this, this campaign. I need to cast my magic. I may just be dead. Like, the campaign may just be over. If I lose the squad, what happens? Do we gate crasher? Do we need to start running away with, like, the soldiers I care I the do. most about? Is this the A team? No, the A team's on the HQ assault right now. This is the not A team. Although that just crit for 19, I don't know. That was okay. The nearest to. Okay, Step fine. Back. Probably we will be okay on account of having eight soldiers on the mission. Eight soldiers is just sort of a lot of soldiers. I have nine soldiers actually because I have the Haven Advisor as well. You know, it depends. Position compromised. Will this pull a pod? Looks like no. That's right. We've got advent here. Looks like yes. <laughs> Too bad. All right, we're probably down to four soldiers now, or eight soldiers. Eight soldiers. Civilians have to get to evac. Any more harm than good? No, it's fine to pull this pod. They're gonna patrol into us on their turn anyway, and also I have to run that direction anyway. There's nothing wrong with that. Should no be pulling that pod. It's nice that it refunds an action. You want some more? Yeah. 
Fuck that. All right. So the Squatty Shinobi looks to be dead-ish. Definitely approximately dead. Yeah, 14 health. Heading to that location. Back in. Enemies down. Maybe Advent will miss every shot. It's like more likely than you think. Bullets when you're a wizard. Say good night. Can I refund this game still? What's the threshold for like an unquestioned Steam refund? Like, is it six thousand hours? If it's less than six thousand hours, I think we are. Uh, honestly. Possibly still not good. It's fine. Just a scratch. Oh good, my rebel has plus 10 aim. Sorry, what did she want us to tell her kids? Ow. I didn't hear. Did anybody hear? I feel like, I feel like, you know, you gotta finish your sentence if you actually want someone to tell your kids whatever it is, right? Your mother, your mother said I, and then made a groaning noise. Uh, yeah, she wanted you to know. <laughs> uh, Tired of waiting around. Was there a sentry over there? Oh, that was a pretty bad move then. So our assault didn't quite make it. We're gonna have to carry that soldier out because that soldier has like equipment. Um, this is a bit of a mess. <laughs> Moving out. No, that was a squatty assault on their first mission ever. We're back to having soldiers with health, which seems slightly better. I think you might need to move up as well. other pods on the map.
I have a bad feeling about this. No, we're fine. Now we press the Overwatch button. Got it, moving. Orders confirmed, on the move. Stepping off. Let's get some high ground for next turn. We got a pot of four advent troopers. Versus a bunch of super strong XCOMs. Oh, they're shooting at the rebel with more than three health, so that's fine. Second reinforcement pod already. I think that reaches far enough, often enough. Let's do this. Are you on Overwatch and high ground? I think I just need somebody to walk up to get vision. Vision and then some. So I haven't found the sentry. How about you love to watch me go? <laughs> Fuck yeah, bio kill. Oh, okay. wrong game. You just swear on my stream, Jorbs? Did I give you uh, permission to do that? So seven months in Corbett, thanks for the 23 months. I'm going to show you both. Target down. Running dry. Well, I guess we're running over this way. If I can get that kill, it'd be a nice kill to get. Probably not a relevant enemy, though, at this point, right? Probably okay. So how this works is my Rebels evac, and then 
the Sky Ranger has to like do a little loop de loop or something. I don't know. Okay, I don't so understand. I don't want... Anyway, my soldiers have to hold out for a little while longer on their own while running to a different evac zone. Because this mission is like actual hell. I guess is basically why. So that's what we're doing next. Assuming that those rebels actually make it to the evac zone. An option for getting out faster that I could have considered is I could have grenaded the rebels at the start Enemy of the mission. Close. Um, it's allowed. Is that guy again? Thanks to Twitch Prime. I'm going to show to you too. Yeah, I got the gameplay consistent, reliable damage. At least there isn't another pod next turn. Mudden, a stun lancer. Ooh, what's this hack look like? A 9% control. I'm sorry, how did your overwatches not go off next turn? If you can see two of them. I'm sorry. Uh, I'd love it if you walked me through that. think this would work. I think there's got to be a pixel there. Nice. This is gonna hurt. I'm a little bit flanked. I'm not being the guy left behind. Love the way they scream. <sighs> okay. It's a stun lancer dealt with. Could just take a hundred percent mech disable this turn. Or I can go for more. I think the only good way to deal with a muton is this. Position confirmed. Let's see if it works. 82% hit chance, it's really good. Oh my gosh, I feel a lot better about the mission after that roll. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think from here I have a flamethrower on the officer with command.
do have a second shot on the mech with this soldier if I want it. Moving to designated position. Hostile neutralized. Okay. On my way. If this could high roll, that would be good. It's not even that much of a high roll. It usually works. should leave them. Tell you what, if you get the armor off the soldier, you can just leave it. Okay, I think we're good. The fact that no reinforcements are showing up this turn is huge. Okay, so this is showing up in four turns. Just need to stay alive until then. No more soldiers dying. Please stand still for five or six seconds while the game attempts to animate me shooting you. Good to go. I cast Long Strider on myself. Okay, how's that for setting the stage for an HQ assault? I'm all over it. Where is the Shinobi body, by the way? Right there. Moving on target location. I'm pretty sure the soldier doesn't have anything. Let's rock! But, uh. We'll bring you home. Hold on! Moving to designated coordinates! Go take cover! Cavalry's here! Gently now. Okay. On it. Yeah, more aliens incoming. I'm on it. We're gonna find more aliens there. <laughs> TJ Pooba. Things have happened this Wreck mission. Bang, tap, trap, I'm a two. Uh, I'm on Overwatch. I'm gonna here. Things have definitely Overwatch. happened this mission. It's been a fun one. I'm on it. Good little brawl. We're carrying a. Uh, Soldier, so you can't actually go on Overwatch now. anyway. I'll just put you up on the building. Hmm. Advent troops here. All right, 
They sent a terrifying mech, so that's cool. What counts for my shooting accuracy? Uh, yeah, yeah, just the terrifying mech. Okay. <laughs> this is why we built coil rifles. Um, noted. Just wanna remove the overwatch, move the sharpshooter out of the way, and then shoot the rocket, yeah. And then now that the rocket's shot, we can reload this gun, take another shot here. Because the armor is mostly gone. I'm glad we're getting these grazes from your gun now instead of earlier. Oh shit. Oh, I don't have full override. That would have been fun. Too bad. Easy does it. Covering fire is a perk. I think both specialists and rangers can take it. Let's you take overwatch shots against On my way. enemies whenever Already. they like shoot or do another action or whatever instead of just when they're moving. Just the problem is that you take shots against them while they're in cover, so they're much lower chance to hit. But if you have like a really high Double aim shot. soldier, it can be a decent perk to have. Does the mech have to be taken with full override to be on our side in Haven missions? Yeah, otherwise it's just a temporary hack. It only lasts like three turns or something. It doesn't even last the rest of the mission. Good to go. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus two soldiers on our shoulders makes nine. The reinforcements didn't ramp up as fast as I thought they would in this mission. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. I hope it's worth it. Let's wait and see what this next pot is, though. Stuff, I hope. Just out of curiosity. Enemy is line of play. On Overwatch. Oh, we don't know. All right, whatever. I'm gone. Make 100% sure I'm carrying two bodies right now. One, two. Seems like reinforcements come at longer intervals as the mission goes on. Um, well, there's one guaranteed on turn Status one, right? Mission accomplished. I think that was the only thing, maybe. I don't know. One of these dead soldiers is a rebel. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Can you pick up rebel bodies? I'm not even sure you're allowed to pick up rebel bodies. One wound, two dead, one dead rebel. That sounds right to me. Yeah, we lost both of the squaddies, so. Two dead, yes, but it was a squaddy shinobi, a squaddy assault, and we got all of the equipment back. Um. Very sad, but on the scale of the campaign, okay. Ooh, usually I take Incinerator here. Flamethrower has increased range and covers a wider effect. Even without previous flamethrower perks, this is still really good. Javelin rockets. I mean, that one's also pretty good, but I think the flamethrower is better. K-9 
KIA. You'd get a kill. Get a kill for us. It was worth some. At least Jorbs is okay. Jorbs didn't even take a wound? Ooh. Well, the campaign continues then. 